Yo, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and I wanted to do a, another video for my my meta series, meta, meta weapon series, and this is a big shout out to Jin. I stole this build from him. I don't know if this is the best build, <laughs> but I know it works because I've seen it in action, and um, he's kind of one of the first people I've seen using ugly EVs uh, very effectively, so I decided to steal his build. Plus, I like how it looks. <laughs> so shout out to Jen. I even tried to steal his decals. Um, I couldn't see them exactly for what they were, but I definitely stole his colors and his decals. Um, but yeah, I hope he doesn't mind. But yeah, um, going by piece for piece, or actually, let me talk about ugly envies first. So ugly envies, in my opinion, definitely top three weapons in the game. Um, in my opinion, they might be the best. Um, they're definitely. In the conversation um i don't know i don't know man snipers might counter these but i feel like if you can make a faster build um with snipers and these do way more damage than snipers so i feel like these actually might be better especially if you make a fat speedy build to get around sniper shots and i feel like they I don't know, the, the, the damage, I feel like they're ranged and fangs. Like, I, that's what I really feel like they are. I feel like, you know, you pop the salt shift, you get a charge shot out there, you blast them in the face, then you get out. I really think they're really good weapons. I'm not really good at using charge lasers. I've never been good at using charge anything in games. <laughs> um, I always, in Mega Man X5, I always use zero over Mega Man because I'd rather slash you than have to charge a shot. But, um, may not be the same thing, but whatever. Um... I'm just, I'm too impatient. I don't like charging. It's not my style of gameplay. But these are still really good weapons. Um, I've seen people do work. Um, I expected to see this, especially in our last tournament. Not the last tournament, but our first tournament. I expected to see a lot more of these. Um, especially with snipers being banned. Because I definitely think if snipers are in the game, these are definitely the um, next runner up. In terms of ranged weapons. So yeah. Ugly enemies are really good. They're really strong. Yeah it has a charge time. But the charge down doesn't take long. And they're just really good in my opinion. Um, so again. Stealing um, stealing Jin's build. He uses the longsword helmet. Who doesn't nowadays. Um, I He used a bunch of uh, sight magnifier attachments. Everybody does that. I'm not sure why, because the sight on longsword is already really good, and I feel like if you can't keep them in your sights long enough, especially for this short behind lock-on time, if you can't keep them in your sights long enough with that big-ass screen, I don't know. I just feel like you should be able to. Like, you need to get your skills to get up or something. Me, personally. I don't know. Everyone's doing it, though, so maybe I'm the dumb one. Maybe I should be using these more often. So, whatever. <laughs> but I, I personally would use memory optimization attachments. But, yeah. Um, he actually has the same chess piece on as I do my meta uh, melee build. Um, head of Contour, this is pretty good defense. Um, he has the same mods. I think he has the his mods are better. So, I think his might be a bit more faster than mine. Um, but, yeah. Definitely love how this thing looks. And I love the, the defense, VP... And the speed you get is really good, in my opinion. I think this is one of the better overall, like, armor pieces. If you kind of want to be fast, leaning more, towards more speed, like, definitely really cool. Um, and a good go-to. Uh, his processor is memory up. I probably would... i probably either go boost up or lock. Nope. Would I go? I might go lock on. Or firing up. I don't know. I don't know what I'd use. I think anything would be a... I don't think it's a bad pick, to be honest. But memory up. Definitely for that lock-on time to drop. Um, I don't have any slots on my longsword right arm. But he has all memory optimization attachments on. I probably would definitely do that. Uh, longsword... Yeah, all memory optimization. Again, I think, and then 
long sword legs, all memory optimization. I don't have, I didn't put them on here. Um, I kind of just forgot to, to be honest. So again, the more lock on, the more memory you have open, the better your lock on time is. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's really it for towards the build. Um, that and then of course weapons, ugly envies, and propeller tank. You always, I feel like you always want propeller tank if you're using a femto based build. Um, even if you're just using the um, beam swords, I think you would want to have the propeller tank. And I wouldn't sleep on propeller tank with bullet weapons either. It doesn't hurt to have additional um, mirage, and I think it kind of helps your femto shift. So, I'm not really sure on that. It feels like it do sometimes, but I don't know if it's just me. Um, but Propeller Tank is a really good, um, what's it called? Attachment. Not attachment. What are those things called? Auxiliary piece overall. So, you can't really go wrong with Propeller Tank. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys in action and then we'll call it a video. So again, I really think the ugly enemies are just range and things in terms of damage. Um, even more so if the opponent is weak to laser damage. They're just really good in my opinion. Um, again, the only drawback is the charge time to get the utmost of your uh, out of your damage. And I guess the ammo isn't that great. But again, they do so much damage that like, I doubt you'll use a quarter of your clip. Especially if you're getting your hits off. Bam, one shot it. It's just stupid. My shift wasn't even on. Now, um, so that was four. I think that's four thousand damage. About. I don't know. Bam. I don't know what this stray in here is based off on. Like I don't know his de his um defense or whatever. Um, but I noticed so far I do way more damage to actual players. <laughs> Then I do this straight. So, like, if I hit him for 5,000, I probably hit him for 10,000 in PvP. Um, I think it really depends on what defense and armors they have. But at least with my melee build, I notice I hit way harder against other opponents. So, if, I'm, if you're one-shotting him, you're probably doing really good damage. Again, I don't know what his stats are based off on. I don't know if that thing's rocking on Orsa pieces. Um, it, does, it actually looks like he's... I don't even know. He's annoying me now. The other thing, too, is like if you get, if you get knocked out... Not knocked out, but like knocked away or whatever. Um, it ruins your charge. But yeah, definitely, um, these are just really good weapons. No, my only tip with these is, you know, try to get in, get out. Get your charge shots, then get out of there. Blast them. Bam, kind of keep them in your sights. Get your charge back up as soon as you hear the little ding. Start moving closer. Bam, get your charge shots, and then get out. Now, of course, you compare these with shoulder weapons. Um, to have baked Provit won the first tournament with double ugly envies and Brinnacle. That's not a bad setup. Um, you could probably throw a Rampage and Hammer on this too. Um, uh, I wouldn't even be mad if people. Uh, I'm gonna say Riot Lights and try to get ugly envies off, but I, maybe not. Uh, that might take too much time because then you gotta charge it. But. I don't know. Shoulder weapons, definitely Rampaging Hammer, Brinnacle, um, Garudas, any of those would probably suffice. Uh, propellant Tank, and I don't, you don't necessarily need Propellant Tank, so if you want to change out the Auxiliary for something like Cooling System, or uh, I don't think you would need ammo. Maybe in PvE you could throw the ammo one on, but I don't think so. I wouldn't do it. Um, whatever other Auxiliary you guys are into, Nowadays, radar jammers, da 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 da. But yeah, um, you could definitely uh, ugly MVs are even if you use the weaker variant ones, both of them, you still do a pretty good damage, and 
you could you could definitely experiment with this weapon on what kind of build you want. I'll probably personally try to make this build a little bit faster. I'll probably change out the arms for something with more precision. Um, I'd probably I'd probably keep the helmet. To be honest, longsword is the way to go in terms of helmet. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not a bad build to steal. Decent VP, de decent speed. And if Jin made it, it has to be good. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. You guys take it easy. I'm out. Deuces.